Economic Advisor P. Srivastal Ji, other distinguished members of the PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Honorable Excellency and diplomats from other countries, and esteemed guests and industry leaders and media members. I am very happy to be participating in the 10th edition of PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry on this summit which is being held on the civil aviation sector. It is the 10th edition. Like our uh, PhD was telling, it is a double digit number and a very solid number. So that expresses the commitment PhD has been showing for the last 10 summits in the area of civil aviation industry. So I extremely thank them from the ministry also for continuously keeping the progress up and trying to involve the industry and do a progressive movement in the civil aviation. So I extend my heartfelt gratitude to the PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry for organizing this summit, bringing together the experts and stakeholders from the aviation, air cargo sectors and other verticals of civil aviation. And as we gather today for this summit, it stands as a testament for PhD CCI's unwavering commitment for fostering dialogue, collaboration and innovation within the industry. And by working together, all of us, we can address the challenge, seize opportunities and ensure sustainable development of the aviation industry. If you look at the aviation industry today, it might look a little bit repetitive, but one thing I want to uh, tell from that point of view is that all the dignitaries who are sitting here are speaking the same language. That is an assurance and confidence to the people that are here that we are not moving in different directions. If you are trying to speak the same point again and again, it is to bolster the confidence of the industry that we are all committed and ensuring that we are all on the same path and same frequency. So if you compare the Indian aviation sector today, it is a transformative crossroads marked by rapid growth and forward-looking vision under the leadership of dynamic Prime Minister Honorable Narendra Modi ji. As one of the fastest growing aviation sectors in the world, India has witnessed a remarkable change in passenger traffic, cargo movement and overall connectivity in the last 10 years. And one testament for that growth has been the increase in the number of airports. In 2014, we had 74 airports. And right now, we have a staggering number of 157 airports, which would have been totally unbelievable to think of in 2014, had we just set the number. But we have achieved it. And if you look at the domestic air passenger growth, it has risen up to 60, from 67 million in 2014 to up to 152 million in 2023. And the fleet size, which was around the size of 400 flights in the, for the Indian carriers in 2014, it has more than 700 and we are the highest orders we have in the market today to the tune of 1200 in the coming 10 years also. So the numbers are staggering. It is a huge growth in the considering the statistics that we have today. And combining the growth that we have and the theme of the summit today, which is the skies of change, shaping a new futuristic aviation ecosystem. It is important for all of us to reflect on the transformative work that is being undertaken to boost the civil aviation sector in India. And the skies are indeed changing today. And so is our approach to build a robust and future-ready aviation system. From expanding airport capacities and modernizing air navigation systems to supporting the growth of the air cargo industry and enhancing regional, domestic and international connectivity, our initiatives are designed to ensure that India's aviation sector not only keeps pace with the global advancements, but leads the way in shaping the future of air travel and logistics. The government has an ambitious vision to transform India into a global air cargo hub and a global aviation hub and MRO hub also in the coming future. I would like to especially mention about these two segments, which is the air cargo and MRO, because there is a lot of potential today and many of them who are already aware and working in the civil aviation sector would see that whatever growth we are able to see in the last 10 years, the growth is because of the demand that the country is uh, giving to us. But much of the potential is being utilized by other players across the world. Let it be the MRO, let it be the manufacturing or let it be the air cargo, let it be the air travel, domestic air travel. 
much of this is being utilized because we have not enhanced all the capacities the holistic ecosystem development is still in the progress so to achieve that it is very important to look at these verticals in silos also and try to see address the concerns which they have in these different sectors and one of them is the mro sector which is very very important for the kind of growth and for the kind of global leader the position that we want to achieve in the future if you talk about air cargo and logistics india's air cargo sector is experiencing a transformatory boom the numbers which speak for themselves the total cargo handled increased steadily from 24.7 lakh metric tons in financial year 2020-21 to anticipated 33.6 lakh metric tons in financial year 23-24 and recognizing the potential of air cargo we have embarked on development of dedicated air freight corridors the implementation of digital processes like airway bill and investments in the state of the art cargo terminals and our goal has always been to make india a global cargo hub by enhancing connectivity reducing turnaround time and improving efficiency this is where i want the industry to think in the sense how can we bring in advancements in kinds of technology and try to attach it with the air cargo existing systems so that we can give that kind of experience and the kind of advancement which is required by the customers today and to further strengthen this sector we established from our side we have established i class which is the airport authority of india subsidiary which is uh, handling cargo logistics and allied services also and the initiative was not just about developing a separate business but it was about creating a robust network around civil aviation sector and to support and enhance, enhance the efficiency of air cargo logistics and allied services across the country and it has been doing very good i class has finished 8 years and we have been looking at the numbers if a company which is being owned by the ai can do such good work in terms of air cargo i think the sky is the limit for private players who can come in and bring in much more huge potential into this network today and the usas if you look at the usas air cargo market it is being driven by time sensitive shipments which is also a adva advantage that our country also has but which is not looked upon in that manner with well established air cargo lanes connectivity to key markets in asia europe and the uh, south america whereas in india with a hub like delhi mumbai and bangalore we can serve them not only as air travel hubs but also as air cargo hubs also so how do we enhance the potential that we have and seize on the opportunities that we have and create these other cities as air cargo hubs is something where the industry also can pitch in and offer their view and trying to develop these as their networks and one of the important i felt that one of the important advantages that we have today in terms of air cargo i don't know how much it is happening in the market today is honorable prime minister has come out with this strategy of developing one product per district and it is a very unique product across the country where you are going to find it in that very district itself where it has an advantage for being made or produced or generated in that district and if you can connect these kind of products and some of these products also have geographical indication gi tag also they have so if you can connect these kind of products not only with the domestic market across the country but to international market many of these products are time sensitive products many of them are perishable goods when you have these kind of goods when you want to connect them to the global industry the only platform that you will have is the air cargo itself if you talk about domestic we are facing a huge challenge right now because of the good work being done by our colleague uh, senior minister nitin gadkari ji he is making transformatory uh, efforts in uh, road connectivity that everyone is trying to take the cargo by road today they are finding it much more efficient much more easier than years ahead but we are facing that challenge right now we have to create a system where the economics we break the economics of providing uh efficient affordable air cargo also not only domestically but internationally so that is where it is not like competing with road travel or competing with air travel or all the whole concept of gati shakti is utilizing the advantages of each sector and trying to bring everything together the last mile connectivity can be the road sector and the proper main core connectivity can be the air cargo and to provide that efficiency in timing this all sectors should work together and we have to break the economics that is still pending in terms of air cargo sector that is where the industry has to come in 
come up with innovative solutions we as the reforming people we will help you out we will help you bring in right policies we will help you out in creating the right infrastructure but people we need people more people to come in with innovative ideas transforming this air cargo sector in the future and also we have to think about why don't we have freight carrier planes also so many with the kind of population that we have today we are still lagging behind on freight carriers most of the cargo that we are doing today is by belly cargo only it 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 obviously has its own challenges now we have to move into the idea of having our own freight corridors freight carriers at least between the metro cities domestically so that there is a network already created in terms of air cargo there is a, 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 a system that is being handled so that is where we want all the private people also to come in to have these um, uh, uh, solutions in terms of technology or in terms of infrastructure so this is where some more thought can be put in from the phd also and there we would like to uh, involve in a discussion uh, together and uh, air cargo by working together for the infrastructure and optimizing the processes we can pave the way for india to become a glo global leader and also india is a strategically located uh, uh, place so you have to use that also in kind of transshipment so there are many advantages that the location itself gives us so how can we integrate that also into the air cargo picture these are some of the ideas that we can all discuss upon in the summit and arrive with some good conclusions which we can work forward together and now moving on to the mro sector much has been said by pius ji also but i'd like to say them uh, some of the important points again so mro sector is another critical area that has witnessed significant growth india has the potential to become an mro hub and we are taking decisive steps to move into that direction from the ministry by rationalizing taxes providing incentives and developing world class infrastructure we are encouraging both domestic and international player to invest in our local mro industry and some of the important policy announcements that have happened in that direction is the application of a uniform 5% gst for import parts